Hey guys, how's it going? I've been playing the heck out of uh, Hell is Others lately, and as I've gotten further and further in the game, I figured out some things for you guys that I think would uh, be useful to know. So here are my top tricks for Hell is Others. Enjoy. Tip number one. Get movement and smell bonuses first. So when you first start out, what you really want to do is you want to start trying to get your stats up uh, while you do your quests and stuff by eating mushrooms and eating the pills that you find in uh, littered throughout the map. But when you do uh, boost your stats, what you really want to try to do is focus on getting your movement speed up and your smell up first. Now, movement isn't just movement speed, but also your endurance. But basically, what you want to try to do is you want to try to Prepare yourself to run away from somebody that's stronger than you, at least until you can fight back. Uh, so the more you can run and the faster you can run, the better. More than having more health will help you. And that also ties into tip number two. Run away as soon as you hear a heartbeat and move in whatever direction is away from it. So as you probably noticed when you play this game, when a player uh appears nearby you start to get like a red flashing effect on your screen well you can basically use that as a kind of proximity proximity sensor for other players what you want to do is walk around until you start to get the effect on your screen and then reverse direction or just basically use it as a feeler by probing each different direction as you move uh as to which direction makes the signal stronger or not and then make sure to go in the opposite direction from that. All right, tip number three. Tying in with being able to sense the heartbeat of hearts. Uh, hearts also continue beating when you kill a player. Their heart will still beat on the ground inside of their loot container. Well, you can actually loot that heart, pick it up, and then drop it back on the ground. And that will provide a kind of uh, heartbeat decoy for you. As it continues to beat, it'll throw off any of the players that are trying to track your heart signature. Okay, tip number four. Open windows ahead of time. So as you're going through the map and stuff and you're looting, if you think that you're gonna get attacked by a player, consider breaking all the windows open ahead of time so that you can plan multiple uh, escapes and that will also prevent the enemy that is chasing you from being able to easily identify exactly what window you went out of typically when you're chasing somebody you are able to see uh, even if you can't see them you're able to see the window get broken because it'll break on your screen too so by having the windows already broken you're pretty much covering up uh, which window you went out of, making it much harder to chase you. Tip number five, use deodorant. So a lot of new players, they experience getting hunted and murdered by the higher levels we all have. But uh, one thing that's underutilized a lot now, that's a counterplay to that, would be to use deodorant. You can buy deodorant at the uh, supermarket for about 5,000. And what it does is it hides your heartbeat, aka your smell, for five minutes. So if you're hiding in a room and a player's nearby, he won't be able to sense that you're there. People often use it for PvP, but it's also a great tool to be used defensively as well and can help you survive a few extra raids while you try to get your stats back up after a death. Tip number six. When extracting, activate multiple elevators and scope them out. And also, activate the elevators ahead of time. So, when you're going off and trying to extract, and this is especially useful if a player is actively hunting down other players on the map, try to plan ahead and see which elevators, if any, are close together. And then try to activate one as a decoy while you either sit in between two of them or you go to another one, you activate that too, and then either hide out or double back. And what this is going to do, it's going to make the person that's looking for you, they're going to be very confused because they're going to go to the first one. They're going to see, oh, it's open, but no one's here. So he must have gone to the other one. Oh, but then he goes to the other one and blah, 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 blah. So he's going to have to guess to find out exactly where you are. 
it's a much safer thing to do than just to press the button and sit by the elevator waiting for it to open. Don't do that. Seven, don't overeat. Now, what do I mean by overeating? Well, I don't actually mean eating to the point where you throw up when your satiety bar gets full. What I actually mean by don't overeat is, say for example that you're missing 75 points of health and you open up a kitchen cabinet and there's uh, cereal there and there's a burrito there, okay? So cereal is 75 points of health or you could eat the burrito, that's like 140 points of health. Well, the one that heals the more, the one that heals more also fills you up more, okay? So if you were to eat something that gives you more health than you have health missing, you're filling your food bar for no reason. Tip number eight, stop an ADS periodically for mines as you go through the map. Okay, so this one is something that I started doing when I kept getting blown up by landmines. Every time that I'm going through the map, what I'll do is I'll sprint or run for about a screen length, and then I'll stop or ADS out and just scan in a 360 or along my course of travel, and then I'll run again and I'll stop and I'll run again, kind of, you know, leapfrogging my way to my destination using ADS to extend the length of the screen and to check for any kind of traps up ahead. It's very useful and you also want to stop and just look around anytime you go through a doorway because landmines will seriously get you. Tip number nine, loot near your missions. All right, so when you have a quest, the quests and givers and the traders and everyone, they're all on the map with you, of course, right? So whatever quest you have, try to loot whatever they're asking as close as possible to the quest giver's location so you can just turn things in right away as you get them. So that's going to help you constantly make progress if you're able to get one or two items that they request and turn it in right away with a short run. Because even if you get murdered in that raid, you still made progress on that quest. So I always try to do all the quests I have nearby the quest givers if I can. Sometimes you have to go far because they require an item that doesn't spawn in their area. But most of the time, you can complete quests, sometimes even finding items that the people are asking for in the very room that they're standing in. Tip number 10. Listen for shots near extractions and go and extract when you hear them. All right, so this also ties into avoiding extract camping. As you're moving through the map, you should be paying attention to all the audio, but especially when you're going to extract, listen for the sounds of people fighting at the elevators or people hunting people at elevators, and then immediately run to the other side of the map if you're able to and use the furthest elevator. Not only will they be slow to, re to react to this because they're going to be busy in the fight that they're already in, but not only that, but as you're going to the elevator, make sure to check for mines uh, everywhere. Uh, people have been taken to putting them underneath the buttons. And also make sure to... One thing that I also like to do is to activate the elevator ahead of time. That way, uh, I'm not standing right by it. I typically hit the button and go loot some, and then I come back near the time it's about to open up. And what this does is it puts you in an un... in, a, in a surprising position for your enemy when he comes up to try to uh, attack you. And lastly, tip number 11, use melee to run faster. So katanas and bats, they actually give you a 10% speed boost. Fists and brass knuckles give 15. So that should help. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Thanks for listening to the tips. I hope they help you out. And I'll see you out there. Peace.